respect people. check up on this morning he only been there probably about five minutes and uh i'm sure he probably haven't found the problem yeah i think they had two systems that's not cooling so like i said i'm just gonna go check on him and uh give him a hand and just see where he at like i say he's, he's still new no pressure on him i'm not expecting him to figure anything out but i just want to you know just throw him out there in that water early but at the same time i just have patience on him like I said, you're not gonna learn this, this uh, skill overnight. It's a learning curve. And I say at least about a three year learning curve. But I know a lot of companies expect you to know this stuff, you know, your first month or so, or your first year in the trade. But uh, a lot of times the light bulb just don't click like that. So, like I said, I just wanna be guidance to them and, you know, no pressure but at the end of the day you, you want to be in the trade you gotta you gotta learn it so uh like i say we're gonna pull up on them here in a second what's going on all right so i got the thermostat down there come on okay. i changed the battery you know just press the reset button mm -hmm. and it came on mm -hmm. but the system just came on i guess it had a little cycle it had to do okay. it came on but it's a it's a zone system okay uh, what she said the problem was, she said the upstairs wasn't cooling. Okay. She, well, okay. she said the upstairs was cooling all right. Mm -hmm. The uh, downstairs not cooling. Okay. And then when I went outside, the condenser wasn't on. Okay. And so uh, I had uh, I had reset the breaker, mm -hmm. and then I came back in and uh, got the uh, thermostat to come on. So mm -hmm. the unit came on. Okay. And um, it's running now. The upstairs fan running. Okay. And um, the outside fan, the uh, condenser unit. Okay. But it's going out cool there. Cool there? Yeah, so okay. I'm thinking both of them low on the refrigerator. Okay. And like I said, this one is on. What do you say? Both of them low? Both of them low on cool there? Yeah, both of them going out cool there. Okay. And uh, I had uh, the fans running. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. It, it, I'll it, take it look. Right here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Honey, we're zone. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Explain to me what's going on. This the uh, downstairs? Yeah, That's this downstairs. is downstairs. Okay. And um, like I said, the fan was running. I came mm -hmm. up here, the fan was running. And that's the one you, you replaced the batteries in? Or put yeah, the batteries this in? this one I put okay. the batteries in and reset the thermostat. Okay. When I first came, it wasn't on, it wasn't doing nothing okay. when I pressed it. Okay. And so, now it's on. And um, I checked the, the line yeah. right here. Cool. What it feel like? Warm. So that uh that liquid line, feel that liquid line right there. Was it what it's doing? It's warm. Do you do you feel any refrigerant like it's flowing through there though? Yeah, it feel like it's. It, it, so, so it do do it feel like it's on? Yeah, it feel like it's on. Okay. And, and you heard the compressor? Yeah, I heard the compressor. Let me see. Let me see. I don't feel like nothing flowing. Yeah, uh uh. Do you hear? Can you hear? You got sure. Okay. They feel right here. Maybe. Because I'm thinking it's getting the vibration from there. Oh, the vibration. Okay. I'm just saying, can, oh, can you hear the compressor? Can, can, when I be feeling this right uh, here? Outside, can I hear the compressor? Uh -huh. Yeah, I can okay. hear the compressor. Okay. So it might just be, well, I ain't going to say what's wrong with it. I'm going to let you determine that. Well, what about this one right here? That one with the uh, line was going as well. And this the uh, upstairs, right? Yeah, see this one a little cooler. Yeah, the line was a little cooler, but it was, I don't feel like it was cooler before. Cause on this one, it seems like I can, I can hear something. But the presser might be on, it just might not be hot. And so it, like, this is my first time seeing one of these. Okay. Anywhere, uh, so I'm going to kind of explain to you what's going on here. Okay. 
So, we have to determine, so this is what this means right here. And this, this can kind of tell you if it's calling for it or not. Okay. You see cool one, zone one, that's green. Mm -hmm. That means if it's downstairs, we have to determine how many zones she have, but that means that it's calling for it. Okay. Only zone one though. Only zone one is. Okay. Because these two is off. So I'm gonna see how many. Okay, so check this out. So this you just see this zone right here? Mm -hmm. So zone one and then zone two, right? Mm hmm So this is zone one. This would be going to zone one, so this is probably the thermostat you that you uh Turn, turn down. Okay. So what I want you to do too is try to find zone two. Actually, she got another thermostat downstairs. Okay. 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 And that'll be zone two. But but the easy way to figure that out too, follow your wire right here and see if that's going to a damp. Yeah. Use the dampers be in like the ductwork area. Yeah. So it's probably going that way. So so take a look at this. So, so these, these right here, I want you to see that you have seen the dampers. I want you to see how the dampers look also. Uh -huh. They usually make two styles of these Honeywell dampers. A okay. new kind and they got a kind that's obsolete that a lot of people still have. Oh, you see this? You see this says thermostat right here? Uh -huh. You see that? Uh -huh. That says thermostat. So we know, and you see it has about five wires on here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. So I know she get, she got a thermostat going somewhere. So ask her, go down there, ask her real quick, where's the second thermostat for downstairs? Okay. And turn it on in that green light. Well, matter of fact, I'm gonna go do it so you will see that green light turn on. Okay. I turn it on. I set this up here. And then we'll run, run outside. Say what's up to the people, man. What's up, people? What's up, family? How y'all doing today? We running a service car, troubleshooting this unit. She said the uh, upstairs unit was cooling, downstairs unit wasn't cooling. So we just trying to pinpoint the problem and see what's going on. Hope everybody having a blessed and prosperous day. Uh, this is my first time working on a zone system um, with the dampers and everything. All right, she gonna, uh, she got a dog in there, so she gonna turn it on. Turn it on, and she'll see that because she said she had it off. Okay. Yeah. So whenever you see a zone zone sensor uh, a, a system like this, nine times out of ten, they got more than one thermostat. Now. Okay. 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 Just call for. All right. And all that is is gonna open up. Uh, the damper that's over there. Okay. So, real quick, go see if you can find two of them dampers. I just want to show that, that's probably not our problem, but, and, and you do have to make sure, yeah, I see one right there. See it straight ahead? And that, that's one of the old style right there. Your light on it? Yeah, that's a oh, damper okay. right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Number one. There's two that, of them right here. Yeah, okay, it's two of them. What other one that? Right. Okay. There you go, right there. A lot of people haven't seen this either. So, like I say, they don't make those no more, but I'm pretty confident that they are opening up. But sometimes those get stuck. So let's just say, if you got that green light, and you got poor airflow or something like that, one of those dampers may not be opening up. If they're complaining about it's not getting uh, cool in a certain room, mm -hmm. and we have to, uh, they use it to replace it. I'll show you how to do that one day too, but I don't think that's our problem. Let's just go outside and hook up the gauge. Okay. All right. I'm gonna follow your lead. Put this back on. So we don't gotta turn on zone three. Uh, so. That's just an extra zone right there. You see, ain't nothing on oh, zone okay. three. Okay, okay, I see that. You know what I mean? Because it's the two thermostats down there. That's why I determined that. So, sometimes these fail right here. We'll get into that later. I don't want to overbog you, but just say if, if this zone right here fail, mm -hmm. we can just move these wires and put it over here. That'll be an oh, e okay. extra one. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, 
All right, folks. So Antoine, we, we've been working pretty much all week. Well, we have been working all week doing maintenance and a couple service calls. So I think he got an idea of what it is. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Too. This the one. This downstairs. This downstairs. Yeah, this downstairs. Okay, so we got 91 up there. That's kind of warm. Cause there ain't nobody 80, by 80 something today. See what the air blowing out of here. That's why I'm saying. I, yeah, that could kind of cool outside. Yeah. Right, so let me know what you're finding on this. Oh, I say, use your, uh, your five senses too, now. I hear the compression. You do hear? Yeah, I hear the hum. Cause I don't hear. You don't hear the but, but hook up the gauge, though. Okay. I think I hear more of a fan. Okay. But it might be. I said I could be wrong, though. It might be. Uh, I think I need you right. Maybe it might be the same. I'm thinking I hear the compression. Definitely need a man. Yeah, it was all uh, wrapped in all them leaves. I had to tear them all off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, next time, uh, before you do that, don't, don't touch it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. See, see? Yeah. All right, so she got refrigerant in there. Put both of them on. saying that because condenser supposed to be a high amp but you have to be careful with this man mm -hmm. because this right here can be for your furnace though okay you know what i mean okay and if it if it turn your thermostat off it's going to turn that unit off but you okay. still have okay. power okay so i can say it could be it could be wrong and that's a single pole okay usually uh condenser gonna be a double pole okay all right so let's try one of these two first because they're not labeled so yeah, kind of got to do it, yeah. So we probably need to label these when we do it. 
So that's the bigger unit, so let's try that 50 first. Yeah. There you go, right there. Okay. All right. All right, so now you can check your electric. So if you would have turned that furnace off, this still would have been hot. Okay. Check first. Uh, I'll check this capacitor. All right, first. go ahead and check your capacitor. Yeah. So that's a single capacitor right there. So all you gotta do is gotta check them two. So that's 60 right there. Uh huh. That's for the uh, the fan motor. Okay. They got another one right there. Only for the. Only for remember the I told you them the two browns. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and check that one right there. Discharge and check. Since this right here is a 60, uh, this is a single capacitor. Remember, it used to be three. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get a 60.7.5. So that had one instead of two. Okay. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay. 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 So I got a 60 and 7.5. Say, y'all ready to check that out? You do it well. I'm gonna go run in there and talk to her. I'm gonna tell her she need to do a maintenance. I recommend it anyway. I do it. Take that on my fridge. Alright. It's rated for 
right here yeah I mean so this right here really uh oh, it's really going to the yeah so what they so what they go to it goes to the time yeah see like I say somebody probably been doing some work with this so mm -hmm. you can't always get confused with uh the with the colors okay. yeah you got to kind of like know where they go but they made this right here okay and usually you got to kind of follow where you think it's supposed to go all right and this right here is loose too a little bit but it's okay probably want to tighten it up a little bit. But. Yeah. So I say when you tighten it up, now you got to pull it off. You got to pull it off, yeah. And squeeze, squeeze both of them, just a little bit. Don't no over tighten it. But, but think about this right here. You got to slide yeah. in. Yeah, you got to slide in. So just kind of do both of them at the same time so you have it even. Okay, that's good. Right. That feel a lot better, huh? Mm -hmm. so remember, remember that, uh, that, that surge car you went when it was burnt out? Mm -hmm. That's what caused burnout, when it had mm -hmm. loose connections. So maintenance is that's what we want to check. Alright. Where y'all the wires at? That's the last, yeah, that's the last one right there. Alright. This is going to. This is going to go to her. Okay. Ready. And we're hearing me? Hermetic to compressor. Yes, sir. Got there, right? All right. I got a bracket for this, but that's fine right now. That's cool. It ain't going nowhere. So, remember, we can't have a little loose wire right here. So, all I want you to do is uh, either tape this up or cut it. I, I say probably just uh, tape it up. Cut it and tape it up. Well, just tape it up real good. You got tape. Let me get some tape. In this case, you have to use it in the future to be there. There you go. So you just tape it up real good. Like I say, you'll never want to lose connection to the short Turn something up. up.
good. Now, uh, kind of like tuck it in there, get it out the way. You see it tight. Okay, tuck it in there, get that out the way. Alright. So now, I'm gonna, uh, you can just fire it up, just get everything out the way. And then, give it the pressure. And then we'll see if that solves the problem. Check the resistance on the contact. Uh-huh. I got 15. You got 15 on the contact? Yeah. Good job, good job. So you, so you own it out. Yeah. Okay. Uh you can hold it, turn your uh watch the pressures. I'm gonna go turn it on. Okay. You should see it drop. Good job, hey. The batteries on the thermostat. Yeah. Huh? Batteries on the thermostat. You put new batteries on that? Yeah, she, she, she had new batteries. Okay. I just listened to it. Okay. And uh, reset it. The thermostat yeah. came on. It won't work down there. Okay. Okay. All right, so, oh, so we put uh, new batteries in the thermostat. That's why I figured it all out. He on the roll. The basic capacitor. Now, I'm going to go and see if she want to uh, do a maintenance on them. See if we can get a maintenance on both of the systems. And then uh, we'll let them know we pretty much got it up and running. And then uh, probably won't show the maintenance because I'm still trying to train him on what all we're doing for maintenance. So hopefully if we get it, we'll be able to rock and roll. As always, thanks for watching. Got a customer for a maintenance agreement. You pretty much already recap what you did on the inside. What you find when you get out here? There's one, one thing I want you to get. Okay. Yeah. First thing I, I thought I heard the compressor when I came out here. Yeah. So I heard that hum, but it was actually the fan running. Okay. Uh, when I got out here, um, this unit wasn't running at all. That unit was running. So when I felt it, it was kind of cooler. But the outside temperature was kind of cooler earlier. Mm -hmm. So I thought they were both on refrigerant. Mm -hmm. But then... I did focus on this unit right here. Okay, on this unit right mm -hmm. here, we uh, put the gauges on there. Mm -hmm. And it equalized, they equalized while the unit was uh, on. Mm -hmm. And then that... And when, when it was equalized, what you say you thought was wrong with it when it equalized? I thought that that meant it had a THP. Okay. But that, that's, the, that's that point I want to hit home right there. It really... So we know it really can't be the TXV because the unit not even running. Right. 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 Okay. So when it was equalized, then what would come to the conclusion? Yeah, that compressor not running because of the temperature, the pressure. Okay. Um, when it's uh, the suction line, it's supposed to be lower than mm -hmm. the, uh, the liquid line. Mm -hmm. And so when we found out that the compressor wasn't running, I decided to check the capacitor. And yeah. uh, you kill power. Yep, we killed power first. Mm -hmm. Then we came over, made sure, well, I didn't make sure there was no power, but next time we make sure there ain't no power. Yep. Then we, uh, we killed the, uh, the power on the capacitor. Mm -hmm. Discharged it. Discharged it, make sure there wasn't nothing going through there. Then we uh, checked it on the uh, muscle meter, we checked it on microfarads. Yep. And uh, it was well we, below uh, what? Well below the rated point, which was uh, 60. Mm -hmm. And we was at like uh, 4 yeah. or something, and uh, that's how we find out the, compa the capacitor was bad. And they also had another capacitor. They had two different capacitors. 
one was a 7.5 going straight to the uh, compressor and I, that one was for the fan was a uh, 60. And so we changed it, we put another one on there and it was a 60, 60 plus the 7.5. So that, and, that, and that's called a dual capacitor. That's a dual capacitor, yeah. That's a dual capacitor. Yeah. And so we hooked it up, got everything running right, cleaned up the unit, got it maintenance right. Yeah. And uh, make sure they was good to go. Yes, sir. Good. good job. All right. That's what I'm talking about.